It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another reaction to an episode of Better Call Saul. This is my reaction to season two, episode four, which is called Gloves Off. Last episode was a fairly good episode. It left on a pretty big cliffhanger with Mike being offered that job. So it's gonna be interesting to see whether he takes the job or not. And it's also gonna be interesting to see whether this is gonna be a Mike-centric episode or whether they're gonna kind of come back to that storyline later. But with that said, before we jump into this, as always, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy the content by the end, consider subscribing to join our community, share and smash the like button and press the bell to be notified when we upload. With that out of the way, let's dive right into this reaction. So it looks like they're definitely picking up exactly from where the last episode ended. And I'm assuming he took the job because he had money on him, like a lot of cash. Oh. Did he get into a fight with someone? They're planting a lot of clues, but they're not telling us what actually happened. Oh, something definitely happened. <laughs> Who did he get in a fight with? He looks pretty bad. It'll be hilarious if they do a flashback and we find out that Mike Tyson punched them. <laughs> then one day they saw Is the big boss gonna them. like this commercial or not? If you or a loved one is a resident of a Sandpiper Crossing facility or other associated Jesus, you used your own voice? You may be Strictly to save money. All in the whole thing cost Just it. call the law offices of Davis and Maine at five Doesn't look like he likes it. <laughs> this one airing, it was an experiment. And as such, by any measure, a success. You keep using the word experiment like you're the goddamn Wright brothers. And when exactly were you going to listen? I admit, I got a little ahead of myself. A little? Just a little bit? Over. I thought I heard enthusiasm. So I... I took some initiative. Some. Wow. A lot of initiative. But no, this is both strike one and strike two. Going forward, you can expect a great deal more scrutiny. That sucks. He's getting a lot of side eyes. He showed it to me. He showed it to you? Yes, a few days ago. And you didn't say anything to anyone? No, I didn't. Are they gonna say this is strike one and strike two as well? This is before from here, Mike's face got office, busted. But someone inside, they can't pick you out. Tuku and me, that's her spot. He always sits facing out. It looks like it's a gangster thing, but I know it's just so he can keep an eye on his ride. Every Tuesday, we're here squaring accounts. Dealer comes in, pays what he owes. Tuku, he likes to get. Oh! Face, says everything he needs to know is written right here. So this is about Tuku. Stairs. Interesting. Looking inside him. I've seen him go like that five, ten minutes. And what does that accomplish? He calls it his lie detector. That's why these things go all day. Just the two of you? No extra muscle? Don't need it. We can handle our business. When we're done, Tuco gets in his car. I get in mine. Boom, we go our separate ways. That is where you come in. See him packing up? Drive over. Pull up in the spot next to Tuco's. Pop. Headshot. Roll out. Easy. I-40 on ramp. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> and obviously, we know Tuco is not going to die. These, um, dealers, they know we're here. So the story is, one of them got ideas, decided to kill Tuco, get a cut of the business. Could have been any of them as far as the cartel is concerned. That assumes there's a parking spot. Our guys park next to him. They come and go from the same spot. Last one takes off. You're open. Someone comes in behind me. I'm blocked. Mike's yeah, asking know. all the good yeah, questions. Good Killing your partner. That's a bell you don't unring. Yeah. You see this? You know Tuco did that? Tuco develops a taste for it. And Crank does not bring out the best in people. I mean, Tuco erratic. Our connect was a guy called Dog Paulson. One day, Tuco's settling up with Dog. He decides to put on his lie detector. Dog's like, what the hell, you know? Tuco just keeps staring at him, then he goes real quiet. Tuco doesn't even raise his voice, but suddenly he's got a sawed off and right in Dog's face. Damn. He was behind him. Sickest thing I ever saw to this day, and this, a piece of Dog's skull under the skull, a piece of it. I tried digging it out, but it's in there pretty good. Anyway, not the kind of thing you go to the doctors for. The thing about it was Tuco really liked Dog, kind of felt bad afterwards. But when he's using local crazy, there's no other yes. way to put it. 
and he's using again crystal much bigger kick it's tight 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 <laughs> by the way saying that Tuco goes a little crazy when using is an understatement you can make that shot yeah you saying you do it 50 grand that's a lot 50 grand I'll look into it which means he's gonna try to do it <laughs> This is going to be an awkward conversation. So, I screwed up, you know. I you know think? That. That's the Armalite AR-50. State of the art. Accurate to 2,400 meters. Looks like Mike is actually Calvary going through with it, or trying to go through with it. Why do I have a feeling we've seen this guy on Breaking Bad? That's probably a lot more than you need. The M40. Tried and that looks like a nice tested. one. It's light, accurate, good for soft targets in the 8 to 1200 meter range. You seem to know this one. Oh, yeah. He could say that. <laughs> well, if these aren't to your liking, I could get my hands on a few more. No, I think these will do just fine. Mind. Oh. Thank you. Interesting. You don't need anything at this time. So he backed out. Then how the hell did he get that busted up face for? We all know Chuck is gonna backstab Jimmy again at some point. <laughs> Cause that's the type of person he is. But tell me, when Howard was making his management decisions, was he sitting on your knee with your arm up his ass? Hey, can he talk? Yes. <laughs> can we get some perspective here? It was a simple little commercial. It aired once, that's all. Can I remind you, it worked. It worked like a dream. You see, that's your problem, Jimmy. Thinking the ends justify the means. And you're that's true. shocked when it all blows up in your face. <laughs> you turned Kim into your accessory. You embarrassed Howard, who, God help him, inexplicably vouched for you with Cliff Maine. You made Cliff and his partners look like shots. Oh, that is Shall true. I go on? How he hasn't fired you for this positively mystifies me. But you're like an alcoholic who refuses to admit he's got a problem. Now someone's That's going to very the true. school <laughs> bus, and I'm not going to let you drive it off a cliff. You want me to quit being a lawyer? Yes, so, that's absolutely what he wants. A machine gun stored me. Say quit, and I will quit. But I need to hear it from your mouth. You want me to commit a felony? Because that's what you do, right? Because you want to believe that deep down I'm some hypocrite. Let's find you out. You are. I am not the bad guy here. Yes, you are. You don't want to be a lawyer. That's between you and the New Mexico. I mean, Jimmy's not the good guy either, but you're not the good guy either. I'm not going to do it. What are you negotiating now? No amount of money. Is he getting punched here? here? <laughs> you won't have to talk to the cops. You won't have to do any time. There's no killing, but your Tuco problem. How? It goes away. How? <laughs> Is Mike going to be willingly assaulted by Tuco so that way he'll get the money and also Tuco's going to go away for a little bit? Is that his play? It's been a while since we saw Tuco, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> he was just in the first episode, I think. Or the first two episodes. Oh, Crazy 8. Interesting. He's doing his lie detector thing. What do you think? I think he's going to end up getting killed. What's your game here, Mike? I would like to report a fight going on at the old Machicana restaurant mm. in the 5,000 block of Isleta Boulevard. See? There's a man threatening... I saw this coming. A gun. It looks to be some sort of gang thing. Oh. The fuck? Did you see that? See what? That old man. Did you see my car? I was just gonna ask what starts the fight. That explains it. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, Gramps. You just hit my car. Dude, you're talking to me. <laughs> Check out Mr. Magoo here. <laughs> yes, sir. You heard him. Take out the wallet. <laughs> I just cashed my social security check. It's all he's I impressed have. at the same time as he's trying to help. Wallet. He's stalling it till the cops get there. One lucky old man. Let go! Let go! Oh! Oh! So that's how he gets the busted up face. Let go! Damn! 
So this is how Tuco goes away. <laughs> oh, that last one might have knocked him out. He's there to tell you your Tuco problem has gone away. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Why? That is the million dollar question. Alright, that was my reaction to season 1 episode 4 of Better Call Saul, which was called Gloves Off. This was a very good episode. We got the usual, as well as some great Mike stuff. And also we got a little bit of crazy Tuco in this episode. So, you know, that was the icing on the cake. This was a good episode, like I said, I really enjoyed it. I'm really interested to see where we go from here and what happens next. I mean, I knew that nothing was gonna really happen to Tuco because we know he's not gonna die, but it was interesting to kind of bring him into the story a little bit as well and set up something that they could do in the future with Mike and Tuco. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to share and smash the like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when we upload. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.